From the Signals AZ.com studio, it's the best worst podcast you've ever heard. And now, the Ronnie and Bo Show, brought to you by Prescott Realty and Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service. Ronnie and Bo, Ronnie and Bo. <laughs> okay, let's go. Here we are. Uh, we're here. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hey, Ronnie, what's going on, man? We are here. We're, yes. we're live. Yeah, and, see, I, and, start, and, I started without telling <laughs> you. Sneaky. Yeah, I wanted to get that sneaky. that authentic sound. You yeah, know? well, you got you it. Did, huh? You got it right there. Um, Ronnie and Bo Show brought to you by Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Center and Prescott Realty. Uh, did I say Realty? Realty. Prescott Realty. Realty. There you go. Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service, our friend Louis Gomez, uh, he'll take care of you. For oil changes, for brand new tires, for flats. You know, they don't charge. If you have a run over a nail or if you have a flat and you can get it to get the tire off the car and to them, or if you can limp the car in, Man. they don't charge to fix the flat. That's so Isn't that good. nice? That is so good. Because that, 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 that's, that's already a cool. bad day when you get a flat yep. and to have that, you know, yep. just kind of salt in the wound if you got to go in and pay through the nose. Other places it. do charge. They do, yeah. 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 Uh, Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service, 1635 West Iron Springs Road. Their phone number is 928-776-0205, and you can also find them, and I, 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 did you know this? You can find them on their website at prescotttirepros.com, and if you go to prescotttirepros.com, did uh-huh. you know you can schedule an appointment online? Right online. You can uh, call yeah. them and schedule, or you can, or you can just click on, click on the webpage. They make that. it so easy. Very easy and convenient. Yeah, check them out. And uh, dive in with Prescott Realty as well if you have a uh, real estate need. So uh, buying or selling our, your home, really the largest financial decision any of us ever make so you better go with someone that you can trust and these are people you can trust Lorinda John- Johnson and uh, John Rocha Kylie Elliott Richard Hanna they're each specialists in different facets of the real estate business so if you need a, a new home John Roach is your guy. If you're a first-time home buyer, Kylie Elliott, she, she's someone that can help you out, for example. So uh, give them a call today, 928-499-8700, and they'll give you a no-commitment free consultation right over the phone, or check them out at prescottrealty.com. And an advantage with dealing with Prescott Realty is these folks are realtors. Yeah. They're not soccer moms that have their license. Yes. They, they do this 24-7. Yep. And they've done it since since they started working. Exactly. So they know what they're doing. They've been serving the greater Prescott area since 1991. That is true. So I mentioned uh, uh, a couple of times ago, uh, yeah. our, our topic should be uh, uh, a couple of episodes. We were talking about th- things you can do with your body. Yeah. Can we, get, can we do that in a I second? I think so. I think huh? so. I'm not. Uh, you know, we, in, you, within my family, we've got some things, but me in particular. I'm you not, can't do anything? You have no magic? No, no magic. All right. Well, no I'm going to yeah. share the magic for, to, okay, <laughs> for both of us. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Bo, you know, I, yeah. I, I'm just always so blown away at, uh, at who you are and, well, you, and what right. you know. Thank you very you, much. You fascinate me constantly with I've, uh, the... the that's very nice. Just the, the scope of your knowledge is, it's, it's like the Grand Canyon. Well, I know that's sort of a setup, but I, I, I can feel the sincerity also. <laughs> and I got to tell you, I got to add, I've never been called a know-it-all. <laughs> no? No. Never? Okay, well, um, then I think this is a good day for another installment of Bo Knows. Brought, Brought to you, you by, by SignalsAZ.com. Signals All right, Bo, what do you know? Ancient Egyptian priests. Are you interested in this topic? <laughs> no. Pastor Ron? <laughs> Ancient Egyptian priests. Maybe you can share this with uh, Pastor what? John and Pastor Mike. Y- yeah, exactly. You go back to shop. Go back to the shop right. and, and tell them what you heard okay. from Bo. All right. On I the do. Podcast. I, I've got a meeting with Mike shortly, so okay. I'll tell him. Ancient Egyptian priests would pluck. Every hair from their bodies. <laughs> Bo knows. Brought, Brought to, to you, you by, by signalsaz.com. Oh my goodness. And 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 Ronnie only plucks <laughs> some of the hair off of his body. <laughs> and it happens to be on the top of his head. Yeah, exactly. Huh? I don't know. I just watched a a fascinating clip uh, online of uh, of Jeff Goldblum. You, uh-huh. know, you know Jeff. I love, him. I love Jeff Goldblum. Um he was on uh, the, some talk show in England, okay. uh, Graham Norton. I like and, Graham Norton, too. Yeah, He's funny. And uh, he basically hijacked the show for five or ten minutes to talk about his grooming oh, habits. No. And in particular, the, uh, the ear and the nose hair, the process that he goes through to uh, pluck 
you know, and uh, now now I I do that. I yeah. groom my nose hair and my ear hair, my ear hair more. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I get these little, I get ear. these little, you know, you can yeah. see it in, oh, in the man. glare of the yeah. whatever. You see these little follicles yeah. coming. Yes. And I got that little tool, that little. Does it work? Yeah, I, I got one yeah. of those, and and it, it works. It it doesn't it doesn't work real great, you no, know. No, I got a good one. The the tweezer, that's an option. I don't I've do I've gone tweezers, in there, no way. and that that's you can get that right at the root. It's like weeding. You just yeah. grab it and go. Well, you know they that, say, that'll make you cry. You reach up in the nose with that tweezer and grab a hold of one. Oh, that's not fun. Ooh man. But they do say, if I'm not mistaken, they say if you tweeze it, you know, tweeze it. Yeah. <laughs> Quit tweezing me. <laughs> No, but if you tweeze a hair or take it out, yeah. then, then, but if you shave it uh-huh. or you buzz it off, yeah. then it grows back bushier. <laughs> Have you heard that? I've heard that. Yeah, so you yeah, want to tweeze it, I Yeah, guess. I guess you do, yeah. But I, 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 I made care. the I mistake once the of uh, just taking my, my razor that uh-huh. I shave with oh, that's, I've and done it going too. in. And, just to get the two or three hairs oh, on the ear, man. And, then and then you, you miss. You nick. And then why is your ear bleeding? You try to come up with as many stories all day long just to not yeah. say that well, I was, I was to shave trimming my ear hair with yeah with a razor <laughs> straight edge razor yeah no that's that's uh, right. you get that little what is that little part on your on your ear that little nobule right there you yeah know, next I don't, to your forehead that yeah that little I flap. guess it's there yeah it's to stop yeah. the stop the dirt from coming in or something yeah and that's yeah. what those hairs are for right your nostril hairs well, and I your guess hairs there is the, some sort of function to, to, it's a filter. To it, cling on to all the <laughs> dust and dirt in the air. And it is. So it doesn't go affect your thing. Yeah, I don't care for it. Okay, so um, let's talk about, uh, for a little bit, body hair. Or not body hair. But okay, uh, please, Body no. things, you yeah. know. Okay. Can you do any strange things? Or do you want me to do my list? Or yeah, what? Do, do, your, do your list. So for some reason, I, can, I got a muscle in my uh, top of my scalp, and I can just do that, you know. You know, I can move my my hair, and and I don't know if my ears, my, my eyes don't go up and down. I don't. No, think your I think eyes I, aren't moving at all. So I keep my face. Your so eyebrows straight. a little bit, but your whole scalp the, is shifting forward and can, backward. Yeah. And so what I do is I'll I'll, I'll I can I, there's a muscle up there, and so what I'll do yeah. is I'll push it forward. Uh huh. And then I'll say, hey, could you cut my hair? And then the guy, the barber will cut my hair, and then I'll push it back. I go, it's too short. <laughs> <laughs> scare the heck out of them all the time, you know. That's good. But it does I can kind of like, do. I, I guess I got look, look with my hand. Oh, you can. So I guess I have a loose scalp, so I can move it with my hand. Well, but it's I can not also just move that it it's loose, muscle. but that you you can control it. That's yeah, a, that's the controlling part. That's because I can do the. Whoa! You do that. I can you do, do it back, and it's moving my ears, but Whoa. with my whole scalp. <laughs> Whoa! Your ears move. So so. Uh, my son's got glasses, always had glasses. Right. And we go once a year to the eye doctor. Yeah. And the eye doctor has to, you know, take that thing. You have to sit there and he's got to get real close to you. Remember the yeah. Brian Reagan thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you yeah. have to be this close? <laughs> yeah. Now, Brian? <laughs> now, Brian? How do you see? Uh, what do you see now, Brian? Yeah. Yeah. But it's not quite like that. But but I, I've been in the room and my kid has this thing and he sits in the chair and he has to look forward and then the guy has to put that light in his eye. Yeah, and so the the what are they called the the ear guy whatever that doctor oh, whatever, op- ophthalmologist maybe or optometrist. optometrist yeah and so he said he had the same thing that you just did he oh, can wiggle man. his ears oh that's so and weird. so the kid's nervous right right and so he rolls up into him you know on yeah. his little bar stool and he says okay son all right Cash I want yeah. you to I want you to look straight ahead yeah and I'm gonna put a little light in your eye and I want to check your eyeballs <laughs> and 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 you know you're, you're tense right, especially right, right. if you don't know what's going on yeah and, and the doctor said I want you to do this. Uh, just focus on my ears and make sure whatever you do, keep looking at my ears and whatever you do, make sure they don't move. <laughs> so he would start standing and the doctor while he's doing an exam would move his ears, wiggle his ears. And oh my God. Son would start laughing. All these oh, kids would start laughing. It's too wonderful. good. Yeah. So you That's can a good p- trick. pull off your headsets. I want to see that again. Okay. I'm going to do it. Oh. Uh, we got to do that on Thursday, November first at the Elks. <laughs> that is, a, we got to like write that, that bit in. You like that, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so we go around the dinner table, and I would do mm. that with the kids and uh, my wife. You know, can you, uh, you know, and then then that leads to the what can you do with your tongue? Can you, I've got, I've got two. I can, can do, you do the taco tongue. Taco tongue. Okay, everybody. I, I, you would think everybody. That's could do that. a. What I've read though that 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 is kind of a genetic you can or you can't. Oh, you can't. It's okay. not just a learned thing. Okay. Leilani already, you know, four. She she master at the taco tongue but there's the w tongue that's what my wife can do i can't it's, do that it's, it's the devil can you do that the- <laughs> no my wife can do it and then my wife can take the tip of her tongue uh-huh and, and fold it back without oh. her finger oh oh 
stick right there. Uh, and it's just it's just like you I can't. Like, like you doing this with your finger, you know, double jointed. She can yeah. take the tip of her tongue and just fold it back with her tongue muscle. Oh my goodness. I and then she I can do that, do that waving tongue, that wiggle oh, tongue. Oh yeah, see, she's got masterful that's tongue. Weird. I can touch my nose with the tip of my tongue. Oh, now that's some kind of joke. So from can, ni- that's 1970s. <laughs> that was, that's a vaudeville joke. <laughs> oh, no, seriously. And Brody can do it also. But Braddock and Leilani can't. I, I don't know. I don't Leilani. even want to see. I don't want to give you satisfaction and say, show me. Because I know it's a joke. <laughs> it's not. I can I, touch my. And then you touch your tongue with your finger. And no, then you yeah, your nose. no, no. There's something to that. Yeah, no. I don't the, think this do isn't the, the childhood prank of the. I, I really can. So. No. Jeez Louise! That's just wrong. <laughs> in, uh, in, in first grade. What does that say about your body? I don't know. My I mean, tongue is long, or or your nose is long, or my nose is yeah. That's just hawk like, and that's 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 it's funny weird. and weird. It's weird. Brody, that's Brody can do it. When I was in first grade, my friend uh, Estrella Santa Cruz, uh, she she told me that her little brother could pick his nose <laughs> with his tongue, which did, I cannot do. Oh wow! But uh, and he could, huh? Yeah. Huh. What so, else you got? Uh, that's it, I think. Uh, you got to know about, your toes. Uh, my, your, my, uh, how about so, the double jointed fingers? Leilani and Anna, to an extent, have thumbs that are oh, that you can double bend back. jointed. I don't have it. Ooh. Braddock has it. Brody does not. My mom has that the, with the, the double jointed. I can't do that. What about the, where you bend the elbow uh, the yeah, other that's way? Gross. No, that's just gross. Do you remember? I, people can't lick their elbow. Is that a... That's a because I. That's a flexibility issue. Yeah, you can't do that. The uh, did you ever do? I'm I'm getting off the topic. No, that's right. Did you ever put the stack of quarters on your elbow? Oh, and then try to four grab or five it. of them and grab them. I can't do that. I can do that. Can you do that? Yeah. Well, I mean, it takes I mean, me a couple you, times to to get back into rhythm, but yeah, you be real fast. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you do it and and you and you roll them across the floor. And yeah. Then in, across into the other room. Yeah. So do you remember? Um, did they do when I was growing up? The eyelids or yeah, something? When yeah, when you turn them inside yeah, out. Yeah, people can do that. I can't do that, oh, but you man. can flick it up. You have to do it with your finger, but you can do that and just walk around with your... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about like the... Can you, without using do your it. hands, yeah. can you do the the monkey lips? Like where you... Oh, where you put your tongue you, for one lip and... <laughs> you did it. Yeah, but I had to... You even pull your I tongue, had to your pull lower my lip lower lip down. I had to use my fingers to... <laughs> But see, here's what I do with my. Uh, this is this is totally horrible with because it's a beard. podcast and that it's all audible. A, I mean, this suddenly is, I'm seated across from a gorilla, <laughs> and we're and we're doing this all this visual stuff on a podcast. Maybe, uh, don't yeah. ask for advice about this episode, okay? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Watch this. I can I can hide my lips under my beard. Oh, that's <laughs> what a gift! <laughs> it just looks like you have a nose and a big hairy hairy chin. Oh man, that is that's the closest to Sasquatch I've seen since breakfast oh man See, I, I like that i just suck my lips what about the uh, the eyebrow stuff like i can nope. only you know That's, like the you, rock you can do a rock eyebrow. i can do one I but think, i i can't do the other I side i think my wife can do i can do the elvis lip oh yeah only one side yeah uh-huh. yeah uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah same i can do one but you can't do the other i can't do the other side anna can do both I can't cross eye either. I can. I can. My cross kids eye. and Anna can do phenomenal cross. Ooh, that's a good. Cr- <laughs> now you know what I used to be able. I don't know if I can do it, and I don't know if we'll be able to get to yeah, it. Yeah. Right now, but I, I used to. I don't know. I can't remember, but I think I got one eye weaker than the other. And so yeah. what I would do is I would do a cross eye. Yeah. And then I would help. I would use my finger yeah. and point it to my nose, yeah. and then I would move my finger in a circle. Oh man! To try to to make the eyeballs yeah. go in a circle. Yeah. And I think one would go in a circle, and the other one would just go <laughs> just flutter because it, it, it wasn't strong. Uh, there's something neurologic because when I go see my my neurologist for my see, <laughs> hold on, hold on, <laughs> you're doing it. <laughs> I don't know. One just flutters, and one follows the finger. I don't know. Yeah, but they make me when I have these like seizure mm-hmm. checkups. Uh-huh. The neurologist puts me through this this assortment of you know. It, it, I feel like I'm in some field sobriety test, even right. though I don't. I've never done that. But I, you, from what you've heard from the stories from Bo, yeah, he'll say, "Close your eye." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Close your eyes and then touch your Nose. index finger to your or uh, verbally touch your your take your your ring finger and touch it to your left eye or whatever, or take your heel 
and rub it up against your shin of your right leg. <laughs> uh, you know, and and I guess if you're having trouble neurologically, that tells you something. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Can you put your whole fist in your mouth? No, can you? No. No, I don't think so. I don't think I got a big mouth, but I, not that big. I got a big hand. Yeah, people so can do that too. And yeah. I'm sure there's things that we've missed and stuff, but... Uh, I know, I and know. Those are, those are pretty interesting. I um, like those. Uh, my brother was... This is not exactly... Let's just continue uh, the nonsense. Yeah. Know, my, my brother was uh, involved in a hazing uh, thing in college. Oh. Uh, it was one of these formal events, and, uh-huh. and the men were all in, in tuxedos. And yeah. He was over at Cambridge. Okay. So he was the American, yeah. so he didn't understand the English Correct. comedy. <laughs> And uh, and they said, and you can use this one. Okay. And, and and they have a bunch of eggs out in an egg carton. Yeah. And they say, I'll give you a hundred dollars, Ronnie. Yeah. If you'll let me crack two eggs on your head. Have okay. you heard that joke? No. Have you heard that at all? No. And so you know, there's people standing around right. and they're all dressed up, and yeah. you're at a cocktail party where right. And you know, everyone's being silly, and and you're trying like I was. You're trying to figure out the where the other when the other foot's going to drop and where the joke is. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a hundred dollars. He holds a hundred dollar bill up. Yeah. I'll give you this hundred dollar bill. Yeah. There's nothing in my words. I'll give you this hundred dollar bill if I if 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 I can crack two heads two <laughs> eggs on your head. And the guy's thinking about how he's going to get stumped, how he's going to get embarrassed. And my yeah. brother said, "Okay, deal." Yeah. And so the guy picks up the first egg and. Cracks it on his head. It gets on his tuxedo. It gets on his face. People are laughing, and he's part of. He's yeah, laughing right, too, right? Because right. he's going to make hundred. And then the guy says, ah, "I don't feel like doing another one." <laughs> just, just nail, <laughs> and it embarrasses you, and it just, oh, and, it, and then you don't, man. and you just, you're the butt of the joke. Oh, isn't that horrible? Oh man, but it's a good prank. That is, that is good. Here's another prank you do. Okay, you take. Uh, we did this to our high school uh, uh, advisor because mm-hmm. I. My brother did it to me, and so I go back to school, a uh, senior right. in high school, and I right. do it to our high school advisor, and yeah. got in a lot of trouble. But I thought it was funny. <laughs> so you take, um, you take shaving. Well, you can't do it now because uh, you don't have a home phone. Right, you need a right. home phone. Yeah. You take shaving cream, and believe it or not, it's, it, it, you take shaving cream, and you, put it right, you, you just spray it right on the earpiece. <laughs> and, you just, and then you can wipe it off with yeah, some right, Kleenex right, right. later, yeah. but, and it's gonna get, you've got to yeah, blow yeah. on it and clean it up. Yeah. But you, you just put a little, like, like, like a dollop, right. you know? Yeah, and then you set the phone sort of, you know, yeah. on its side, maybe leaning in on on something or something, so yeah. that you can pick it up. Yeah, but it's it's not the the the, sh- the shaving cream's not touching the table. Right. It's leaning on you. Right. Put it on, put it on a book or something. Yeah, and then you yell across the house. You know, uh. So so it, phone for you, <laughs> and they're waiting for that phone call, and they come running in. Oh, they come man. running. In, they pick up the phone and they put it in their ear, and it goes all over their hair, and oh. it goes all over the side of it. And they go hello. <laughs> and they haven't realized that it's all over their. They, oh, they haven't yeah. felt it on their yep, front, yep. and they can't hear because yep. it instantly deafens oh, you. Man. And they go hello, uh, and they have no. They're totally confused. They have no idea. And then they <laughs> look at it, and they have shaving cream all the way on their oh, shoulder. Oh gosh, their, it, that's like if you put crazy. the shaving cream in the hand of somebody sleeping. Yeah, and then you kind of tickle their face. Oh yeah, and then they reach up to <laughs> scratch it, and they cover their face. That's a good one. Have you ever or the one where you? Put I don't water? know if it's true. Is yeah, it? the warm water I've make you. I think it might. I think it bed. might. Yeah, yeah. I'll I think it's up. supposed to, but I don't know. I don't like those. Huh? Yeah. Well, I think we've got some practice to do, Bo. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to. We got to. We got to come up with some other. Freakish so, sorts of things. That so we now can listen. Do with our body. I, I paused there, and it was a horrible segue, and we really paused there. But I was, I, I had a, you know, you you've been talking about being honest and open. Yeah, yeah. And you said, have you ever put your water in the pan? And I yeah, said, yeah. I could go right there, right now. I had that inner dialogue, and I and I chose not to go there. <laughs> and we to. just sort of said, uh-huh. we just sort of mellowed up. Yeah. And now I've wasted this much time explaining that I should have <laughs> gone there when I am and prefacing. Okay, so now you're going to go there. I'm going to go there. Now. Okay. And good. I should have done it like, hey, have you ever done that and made a kid wipe the bed? <laughs> I was a bedwetter. Yeah. 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 I was. And uh, I don't know if that's is that open enough for you, Ronnie? No, that's. <laughs> Is that, is that the direction you want to go with the podcast? I'm good. Yeah, no, uh, you're fine. By the way, Ronnie, I, I was watching Ron White's brand new special. Yeah, special. Yeah. And and he cusses too much for me, but yeah. he's clever. Yeah. But uh, I was watching him, and he said he was a bedwetter. Oh, wow. He did a bit, and he said I was at, and I was at a sleepover. Yeah. I was like 10 or 11 years yeah. old or 8 years old, and I was at a sleepover, and we're all in our, our sleeping bags, and yeah. he said, and I, and I wet the bed. Yeah. And I was... Embarrassed. I mean, it was yeah. horrible. I'm gonna yeah. wake. These two guys are gonna wake up. Yeah. And he said, so to cover it, 
I got up and 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 peed on the other two uh, on another guy's <laughs> on another guy's uh, sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got back into my sleeping bag because I was going to be discovered. Oh. I was going to be humiliated. And I was going to be embarrassed. Oh man! And he said, "Then we woke back up in the, later that morning, and the guy <laughs> that I peed on said, oh my gosh, I wet my sleeping bag. I went to bed.'" <laughs> and Ron, covering up his 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 bedwetting accident, said, yep. "Oh, that's too bad." <laughs> Something like that. And it was deflected and distracted. Yeah. Yep. And then he said, I went about 20 years and I was doing a radio interview yep. for my stand-up show. Yeah. I was in some city on the radio and I said, oh, yeah, I do a bit in my show about bed. bed, bed. And he said, the guy heard the radio show, my friend, 20 years later, said, and he called the radio station and said, you mean I didn't want the bed? <laughs> <laughs> that was you peeing on my sleeping bag? <laughs> oh, no. But he said that. That is good. But yeah, and, and they used to have a thing, and I had to go, and, and they had a thing where you would, it was really strange. You had to put something on the mattress. So what it is yep. is just deep sleep. You're just yep. so deep that you right. can't, you know. Right. And so what you do is you put this, I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah. But you, 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 you put it under your bed sheet. Yeah. And it's, it's a, it's it's like a it's like a giant, giant diaper almost. Well, no, it's a yeah, it's a it's a flat. It's it almost like a no, not that. It, it it's an alarm, and what it oh. is, it's, it's like a giant placemat. Oh wow! Or, or okay. you know, it's, it's yep. a square. It's a rectangle yep. placemat, yep. and and it's a placemat, and then it's it's like a it's like a a placemat. Yeah. And then you have a, a, a thin piece of material in it. Yeah. And it's sort of metalish. Okay. And then you have a thin piece of material in it, and then you have a metal net. Now, when I say metal, I mean you know just yeah, just, just real fiber. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And so you have so it's it's the Mesh. The, the bottom, uh-huh. a piece of cloth, and then the piece, yeah. and then that is got, got electrical cords tied to it. <laughs> No, seriously, I'm being serious. That's got electrical cords to it. from your Vietnam days, yeah. though. No, that's, you wonder why I'm so anxious doing a podcast. <laughs> and so then you have a little cord, and it plugs into the wall. It's electric. Oh, man. And then if it it's gets got, wet. And it's you... got this big alarm. Oh, jeez. Oh, and so what happens is when you wet the bed, the, yep. the piece in between the two yep. metal pieces... Starts to vibrate and no, it, shock it, it, you. No, it goes away. Yeah, and the two metal pieces connect now. <laughs> Because the the middle piece is wow whatever you call it yep. jeopardized or, oh, okay. or compromised yep, yep 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 and that gets the metal pieces together and that fires off an electrical signal and then the bell goes <laughs> and the, and so that's what it is and you wake up and you go, oh my god I went to my bed that now, sounds more traumatic than oh it's just well, that's the what bed. that's what you did I guess yeah. and then I'd have to go see a doctor you know we'd have yeah, to right. whatever you call those things you know yeah. how do you feel and you know when, yeah, when yeah. you sleep deep I didn't understand yeah was, right. Eight, and so we do that. And and the thing is, and, and here's here's the, here's the problem. I, the reason I went to bed is because I, you know, when you're sleeping and you got to go to the bathroom, your body wakes up and you go, right. oh, I, I got this, I got this feeling. I right. go to bed. And you get out of bed in the middle of the night. Right, right. Well, I slept so deep, you just didn't that, I, that, that I never got that yeah. signal from my body. Right. And so they said, well, we'll do this bed thing, and we'll yeah, just yeah. And the bell, and then yeah. I'll wake him up. I slept so deep I didn't hear the bell, <laughs> and it wasn't, uh, you know, and it just kept going. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. like, it was like a, uh, like an alarm in a firehouse. <laughs> you know, just boring. okay. It wasn't a, it wasn't what we know as a, as a, as a, you know, right. a, as a, as a thing, an alarm that you set Today, to get yeah, up in the yeah, morning. Yeah, it was a clanging bell. Oh man! And it would just go off like a, fi- like a five alarm fire, and and so. And I'm not. I don't have a good point or a good end. But and so what would happen is instead of teaching me to not sleep deep or whatever it was intended to do, yeah. my parents would come in and they would be less pissed off that I went to bed, more pissed off that I haven't answered this <laughs> bell that's been ringing for 45 minutes in the middle of that. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure that's a helpful thing. I think I'd rather yeah. <laughs> just. That's that's a fascinating because we in our toddler st- stage, like with our kids, we we put the mat down that was a little bit absorbent. Yeah. And uh, you know, between when we were trying to phase Saving them out the of diapers, and and uh, you know, they were they were just getting into the big boy pants yeah. or whatever. But yeah, there was no shock tactic or <laughs> no, bell, it was. It bell was like, that it was went like, Why why are you you know putting an electrical device oh, under me gosh. when I'm going to get wet? Oh man! But it didn't shock me. But it was funny. And so I mean, and I just say that you know I don't remember. Um, 
being ashamed because because yeah. I if I wet my bed, nobody at school knew I wet my bed. I, no, I wasn't yeah, ashamed. Yeah, my yeah. parents didn't yeah. shame me. Yeah, exactly. But it is amazing that I saw Ron White and he was at a sleepover and, I, he's, I, and he's nervous. He's because they're going to wake up and see that. Yeah. And so and then you say to yourself, and this certainly wasn't the case. But right. then you say to yourself, if you talk about it, it helps some. It helps a listener. It helps someone right. listening who's dealing with it. Yeah. And that's that, that's sort of what you yeah know, you and I discuss at times about. You know the, the 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 concept of we all think we're alone, and if you say something, you know you go, you know, okay, I, yeah, we're all in this together. I really think if I can talk about myself like yeah. that, like that, I really I really think that um, I don't have that problem. If I have a if I have a problem or a hang up, yeah, I, I don't know if it was self esteem or confidence or right. my parents. I don't have that. Right. You know, I'm the only one in the world with this problem. Right. I really have that character trait that says. Gosh, I'm d- battling with this. I'm dealing with this. Yeah, but I'm not alone in the world. Just like a whole bunch of other people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I and yeah. I don't have. Yeah. But but there are people who you know think they're the only one who has it. Yeah, and that's then right. When they hear somebody talk about it, they go, yeah. I'm not the freak. I'm not the stranger. I'm not it, the. I'm not alone with this. Exactly. Exactly. I think there's a, so much more we have in common than we know. But it, it takes people that are willing you to be honest me? about oh. it. Oh. Oh yeah. Well, no, I don't have anything in common with you. No, I thought you, but uh, you, you, I thought you were going to start your bedwetting story, but but you meant <laughs> humanity has in common. Yes. Yeah. Correct. No, that's right. That's true. Correct. Yeah. That's the true. only, I, the only remotely close to bedwetting story I have is is being at someone's house, uh, spending the night when I was a little kid, and uh, ha- waking up in the middle of the night, having to go the bad- bathroom horribly bad. I mean, I have to pee for days uh-huh. and uh it's pitch black no clue where i'm supposed it's to not go your house yeah. not my house and uh so i went in the person's potted plant no way i did yeah so i think that's somebody worse. somebody will listen to the podcast and uh well now i know why my plant died <laughs> i'm gonna tell my mommy on you <laughs> 20 years ago they'll yeah. call in oh man ronnie and bo show with or without urine yeah. <laughs> now I say without. Okay. Yeah. Brought to you by Prescott Realty. Prescott Realty, 928-499-8700. They are fantastic people and they're fantastic they realtors. Are. Yep. You can and, give them a call. Yep. yep. You, need, you, need to, you need to talk to them. Yep. They'll, they'll help you out and they'll just chat with you. They can ask you some questions. You can ask them questions. No commitment. No hassle. 928-499-8700 or email them at info at prescottrealty.com. I called uh, John Rocha at Prescott Realty just yeah. the other day, just yeah. just just what like what you're talking about. Right. I had no business with him. Right. Right. And I just said, John, I'm thinking about uh, up, uh, remodeling the house and doing some new flooring. Yeah. And changing the paint on the walls. Yeah. What do you think that'll do if I, if I ever decide to resell? What do you think that'll do? Right. Will I get my money out? Right, is, right. It, is it is it something to worry about? Yeah. We had a whole discussion. He right. took the call. We talked about yeah. it. And that's the kind of stuff that's you can best. ask him. It's the it's best. neat. Yep. Uh, Pres- Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service, also a proud sponsor of the Ronnie and Bo Show. They're located at sixteen thirty five West Iron Springs Road. Their phone number is nine two eight seven seven six zero two zero five. Just give them a call. And you know what? Here here's a nice thing. Yep. If you're in your routine and you go get your oil changed someplace, yeah. Do this. Yeah. Just do this one little test. Okay. Call them and get 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 um your oil changed next time from Prescott Tire Pros. There you go. And Automotive Service. Just if you don't believe us, if you're not 100% sure, do it and find out for yourself and it's 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 a small investment exactly. to find out uh, why we love Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service, 928-776-0205. Or you can check them out at prescotttirepros.com, and they're located right across from Waters Garden Center on Iron Springs Road. i got to go to the bathroom. Thanks for listening to the Ronnie and Bo Show, available on your favorite podcast provider. Please connect with the Ronnie and Bo Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and ronnieandboshow.com. Send comments to ronnieandboshow at gmail.com. This is your announcer speaking. I'm Shotgun Tom Kelly.